Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where I love giving you insights and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection someday. So today we're doing a Kickstarter preview for the lovely Arcosa. So if you're in the mood for some kooky and fun sci-fi antics, well, this is the place to start. Arcosa is a game about creating the best colony on the planet so you can be chosen to win your ticket away from this forsaken rock. On your turn, you'll use your colonists to gain resources and to explore the board. All while you build rooms in your colony and most importantly, keep your people happy. Enjoy events, raids and trips to the doctor as you manage to become the best you can be before time runs out. Thing one, what's this game all about? So as you may have guessed by now, Arcosa is definitely a sci-fi game with an emphasis on the dystopian, meaning that you're set in a world where, you know, law and order has broken down and it's every person for themselves to survive. Um, and this is not an uncommon theme in board games. However, what's pretty special about this is that this is all filtered through a lens of humour. Um, so terrible things are happening to you, but it's actually kind of funny. Um, and I really appreciate them mixing it up this way. It makes the game feel very fresh, um, exciting and entertaining. Um, now, the mechanics are really well mixed in with the theme. Um, you do feel like you're exploring as you go around the board, and I like that very much. Um, and I do think the best part of this theme is the fact that the game doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, yeah, terrible things are happening, but you know, we can all laugh about it. So similar games to Arcosa. Well, um, the first things that came to mind were something like Talisman or maybe Pauper's Ladder, which are games in which you kind of explore around a board and unfold pieces of stories or events as you play. However, let it be noted that Arcosa is definitely more Eurocentric. You feel more in control, everything feels less random, um, and it does feel like there's a game in here that you have power over. Thing two, how does this game work? So Arcosa is definitely focused on managing your resources, whether that be your little tokens you're gonna need to engage with the world or help your people survive, or if that's managing the abilities on your colonist cards themselves. So you start with a handful of colonists and you can play them on your turn in whatever order you like to activate their abilities. Um, but you can only have so many in your colony at once. Um, and as you head out in the world and you acquire new ones, you're going to have to get rid of old ones at a cost. But this um, effort of hand managing, I think is really interesting because you can upgrade one card to have a better version or more victory points or whatever the case may be. And I like that you could customize your own gameplay. And you see this as well in when you buy rooms for your bunker, there's a range of choices to choose from. And they will usually do things like create resources for you or some of them will lean towards end game scoring. And I really like that you had the freedom to be able to determine not only how you played the game, but also how you might win it as well. Um, and I like that a lot. Now, there are a number of event decks you contend with as you wander around the board, all sorts of things might happen. Um, and oddly enough, you know what? I, I kind of liked them, they, they were kind of fun. So in summary, Arcosa is a, a well put together light game. Um, but don't let that fool you, your choices definitely matter. And unusually, I find that the random events add to the game rather than detract from it. Thing three, on the table. So I think the first thing you're gonna notice about this game is it's big and beautiful board. It's really bright and really colorful and incredibly eye-catching. Um, now, when you set it up on the table, there is quite a few parts, but I felt like the game felt tidy. And I think that's because the game board is kind of long and narrow as opposed to kind of wider. So everything could kind of fit around it really, really nicely. And I appreciated that. Um, set up for this isn't too long, but there are a number of pieces. And in particular, you're going to have to shuffle a number of decks every time you play. For two of us to play, it took about an hour, 20 minutes, and you can actually watch me play this. I've made a playthrough video for Arcosa if you'd like to check everything out. Um, and the rule book for this is very, very good as well. Um, I particularly like the fact that you get a separate player aid that explains all of the different abilities on the cards. So I, I like that a lot, it's a good touch. Um, okay, so the replayability part, all right, we've got a lot to talk about because there is a basic version of the game and then there's also an advanced mode with 
which adds in a whole bunch of extras. I think it's well worth playing with. Um, the first being that you can play with a fancy character who has a special ability, um, which is always cool. There are bribes, which you can go and pick up for end game scoring, I like that as well. Um, everybody's player boards actually are different when you play with them. So when you place your rooms out in your bunker, you'll get different upgrades or things depending on who's playing. I really like that a lot. And there's a huge variety in the decks themselves that you're playing with. There's just so many cards and so many ways to go. So there's, there's lots of replayability here. The only place where I wish there was a little bit more is in the raid deck. So these are the really horrible things that happen as you go around the board. Um, there's a handful of those. Um, and on the one hand, that meant you could kind of prepare for them or maybe predict what type of one might come up. Maybe that was the point all along. Um, but I would have loved to have seen more of those so we couldn't have guessed. Um, but like I said, that might be a design thing. Regardless, there is oodles of stuff to explore here. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Um, well, from the outset, I really loved the artwork on Arcosa. Just look at that box. It's it's beautiful and it's really interesting and kooky and weird and fun. Um, everything I think we should have more of in our lives. Um, and the art carries through onto the cards and onto the boards and that inside the game. And there is a ton of art here. There's lots of unique pieces that I kind of smile and giggle at. And I often feel like the characters themselves tell a story without saying anything at all. Um, component quality wise, well, I have a prototype, but it is a very, very nice prototype. Um, so the game board itself is kind of backed in fabric. The cardstock is lovely and all the components are really, really nicely put together. And I assume it can only get better, you know, with the Kickstarter release. So all sorts of good things to look forward to. Um, overall, I've really enjoyed Arcosa. Um, I love the colour combination they had and I love the fun and quirky route they, they went with it. Um, I think it really is just taking sci-fi somewhere else um, and I really enjoyed the journey. Thing five, is this game actually any good? So in my mind, Arcosa is a relatively light game, but one that has a pretty phenomenal theme. I've been told to inform you that it might remind you of Fallout. I've not seen Fallout, so I don't know. Um, but in my mind, this really evoked like Mad Max meets Waterworld vibes, if you're familiar with those, with this, this lawless world where everyone's trying to survive uh, as best they can. Um, and it's not often I tout theme in a game. I normally really don't care, but I really loved the theme in this. It was so much fun. Like usually I'm the type of person to go, oh God, we have to read something off a card, you know, to find out what to do next. That wasn't the case here. I really wanted to know what crazy stuff was going to happen next because it was just so out there. Um, whoever took the time to write all of the little flavor texts, um, I applaud you. I had such a good time with it and normally I wouldn't. So consider me, I don't know, not quite a convert, but definitely a fan. Um, and I, I love that the game could make me laugh um, even in terrible situations. So for sure, yeah, the, the mechanics are basic. There's really two of them. You're managing your resources, you're building your bunker. Um, and then there's the whole hand management part with your colonists, which I really liked, actually. I liked that the game felt customizable as you played. I, I liked that it felt you had a lot of freedom to do a whole bunch of things. Um, the only drawback here is that it's not a game where you're going to find deep, deep strategy. I don't expect that this is a game you'll return to because you're trying to better your score than last time, but I do expect you to come back and play it because you're dying to have another adventure. Do I think you should have Arcosa in your collection? I'm not gonna lie, I really look forward to playing this with a group of friends. I think it will be such a laugh to do. Um, but if you're interested in something science fiction related, something that's funny and something that's definitely unique, then I really think you should be checking this out on Kickstarter. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Arcosa, why not shout them off in the comment box below? I'd really love to hear from you. And until next time, tune in again for some more short and informative board game reviews.